Hey guys, at long last here is a walk around video of the beautiful 1957 Prairie Beige V-Dub Oval Window. Let me walk around the car for a few minutes here with the sun coming in and then we'll close the garage door so the lighting's a little bit more even and we'll go over the car in more detail. So we just had the car, the guy literally just left, Robert from Custom Corrections. I'll put his uh, information down in the, uh, the description. He did a full color correction of this car, buffing and ceramic coat. So this thing is ready to go and the shine is just unbelievable. I don't think this video is uh, even gonna do it justice. It looks amazing in person, even more so than it does in video. So let me close the garage door, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back with a little bit more uniform lighting here. So let's spend some time going over this beauty. And we'll go ahead and start at the back and work our way forward. How about that? So here is one of my favorite parts of pretty much every car, the motor. So this is a stock 36 horsepower motor that we actually had um, built here. We had Dave at Proformance build the long block. He builds almost all of our long blocks and then we built it up from there to the beauty that you see in front of you here. So all the tin was just powder coated by our friends at Americoat right down the street. And pretty much we restored everything else um, in-house, fuel pump, distributor, carburetor, generator, voltage regulator, etc. All this stuff was restored and assembled here and obviously installed. Lots of little details like the correct decals here and there. So I've driven this car probably 10 miles so far. It drives really nice. This is a very peppy little 36 horse motor. Uh, if you were driving it and you didn't know any better, you might even think it's got 40 horsepower. Um, in all seriousness though, it, it drives really nice. It's, uh, you know, these cars don't weigh much. So even with only 36 horsepower and the Germans were, were very smart, they geared these cars perfectly for the torque and power curve of the motors. So even with that little power, the cars just drive great. Um, Obviously not like a, a modern car in that sense, but uh, they'll, they'll pretty much go anywhere that you want them to and do it comfortably and reliably. So this car, when it came into our shop, the, the owner had already uh, done most or a lot of a uh, body off pan restoration. So the pan uh, was all done. I think it's probably powder coated or painted, really nice job. The body was painted really nice. Um, some of the interior was in. Uh, the mechanicals were kind of like partially assembled. So pretty much from that point to finishing the car is what he brought it in. Uh, the owner of the car works a lot. He travels a lot. And the car just, you know, wasn't realistically getting done uh, by his hands. So he ended up bringing it in to us and, and asking us to finish, which of course we happily obliged with. So here we are. Let's take a look at the interior for a minute here. So this interior was done by Lenny Kopp and team at West Coast Classic Restorations. And as always, those guys work is just immaculate. Perfect. I mean, look at those seats. You can't find a wrinkle or anything on these seats anywhere just really literally per perfection and uh, german cloth headliner correct rubber floor mats and carpet he did uh, put a reproduction of a 
aftermarket uh, ROM dash uh, steering wheel in there. It's nice, nice little touch. And it's got a very nice accessory radio in here, which is hooked up to the speaker behind the grill. Some little details here, little um, accessories that he had, a little pull for the glove box. So these things are really hard to open without that, actually. It's kind of amazing. B-Dub never put a little pull like that on them. Half the time they don't open unless you've got that on there. So let's actually here, let's look under the front hood. Uh. So, let me grab my light. This car is just really nice. Everywhere you look on this car, super, super nice. All the detail here. Spotless everywhere. We did most of the wiring on this car. The owner had started doing some of it, but for the most part, we did probably... 75 80 percent of the wiring kind of tidied things up um, these two covers here and here are the last things that are going to go in um, the owner didn't actually have some of those so we pulled some out of our stock had them powder coated we'll probably put those in monday and then that's literally the last thing on this car maybe take it for another test drive and make sure that the steering wheel is straight but other than that, this beauty is done and ready for the owner to enjoy it. Just in time for show season. Show season is right around the corner here. And I think this car is going to be a real showstopper because it looks as nice as it does on the outside. Pretty much everywhere that you look on this car, it's equally nice. I think he may be thinking about putting an original roof rack on it that he's got for it. He's got some ideas like that for a few accessories here and there that he wants to do. You know, not, not overboard, but a few nice touches that he wants just to kind of personalize the car a little bit. Even if he doesn't do that, I, to me, this car is perfect exactly as it sits now. Prairie Beige is just an amazing color. Love it. And then a little controversial, some people are not big fans of the yellow headlight lenses, which were, I think, primarily used in France. Um, but, you know, I really like the way they look personally. I think they look really great against uh, the Prairie Beige. To me, it, it's, um, it's a really great combination. But the owner, uh, his opinion is the only one that really matters at the end of the day. He loves it. I love it. Some people don't. That's okay. Cars are very personal, or at least they should be. So there you go, guys. That is it. Uh, this car will probably be around the shop uh, till sometime next week. And uh, then it'll be gone, off into the world for the owner to enjoy. So hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, we'll see you soon on another video. Thanks. Bye.